Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the Beko 700 watt 20 litre microwave model number MOC 201000W. Now this was very kindly sent to me by AO.com. But anything I say in this video is 100% my own opinion. So this has a 1 meter power cord. The external width of it is 45.2 centimeters. Height is 26.2 centimeters. The depth is 31.2 centimeters. And the volume, as I've already said, is 20 liters. So now this is very simple and uncomplicated, straightforward microwave to use. So the internal, I'll, ch I'll tell you the internal uh, measurements. The internal width is 29 centimeters. The depth is 25.9 centimeters. And the height is 18 centimeters. And as you can see there, it runs for 30 minutes. Now I have a dinner plate that is 27 centimeters wide and it fits in comfortably. You know, it has a six program setting on the panel, on the control panel, and it runs all the way to 30 minutes. So if you've got it on the highest setting, that would do your full, that's a full 700 watt, and uh, that's for uh, cooking your mince meat and chicken. Then the one below that, that's for reheating all sorts of food uh, and cooking mushrooms, foods that contain cheese. The one below that, it's for your cakes and pastries or soup. And the one below that, that's for melting butter and cheese. And obviously, the one with the ice on, that's for defrosting. The one below that, that's for like setting uh, your butter and cheese. But in, in our case, we use it for tea and coffee because we drink a lot of tea and coffee in our house. And with kiddies running around, we always end up getting it cold. So we have to rewarm it. So to set the timer on this, so say if you were going for uh, like four minutes, so what you do is you'll turn it all the way clockwise past the actual four minutes and then bring it back clockwise, anti-clockwise to where it says four minutes. And then once it goes off, you can hear it go off, you, you, you hear a click uh, once it goes off, uh, a pink uh, kind of sound. And as you can see, it lights up when it's, in operation and when it goes off the light is off as so so if I were to warm my coffee up as I says we have a lot of tea and coffee in our house so I put it on the lowest setting and then I put it on just say like on the dots there I'd, I'd, uh, I'll try the three dots first now this microwave is just so simple you just take it out the box and you're ready to go there's no, you know, no, no drama or anything with the, with the buttons and stuff. Because nowadays microwaves are so complicated, uh, they, they're so difficult to use. But we did some uh, jacket potatoes the other day, and we, we put four potatoes. Now remember, the smallest one put that in the middle so it cooks evenly, and we put it on for uh, 15 minutes, and they, they was all done. And then if you defrost, if you defrost in a whole chicken, that would be between 26 to 30 minutes. It depends on the weight really, that's between 2 to 2.3 kg. And then we did a lamb, uh, lamb leg and we, did, uh, we defrosted that for 30 minutes as well. And then I heated up a casserole uh, that was for two and I put it on the medium setting, the one with the three, that's a medium setting. And I put it on for 12 minutes and, uh, and it was done. And I like them steam veg packets. So we put one in and I just put it on for three minutes. Now being 700 watts, it is uh, quite powerful uh, for the 700 watt. They, they say is is built nice and sturdy. Uh, so, you know, it, it is a bit good. Now the cleaning tip is, Use a soft soapy cloth, dump it, use it inside and then use a dry cloth to clean it. And if you get stains inside the microwave, we use a cover on ours, but if you don't have a cover, the simple thing, you just put a glass of water in, let, put it on full power, let it boil for between two to three minutes and obviously the moist of the water uh, will go around the microwave and then you just do it, um, you just clean it with the cloth. So, 
It is a nice microwave, it fits in well in any small kitchen and it also uh, will fit in nice in a, a small workplace or in a caravan if it's hooked up to the mains. The other thing this microwave has that my old microwave didn't have, it say if I were to put food in and I put it in for a minute and I forgot to put something in. So you push the button, it opens, you put whatever you need to put back in and once you close the door, rather than resetting it, it just starts again so you don't have to reset it because with my old one that was a digital one a digital one so i had to redo it again so yeah it's a decent microwave the only complaints i have is it would have been nice if it had a timer and the second thing like i says in our house we drink a lot of tea and coffee so if it had a button that you can just push well not push because obviously it's knobs but um if there were a setting that was specifically for tea and coffee rather than guessing like is it on three or on one uh, that, that, the, the, the other thing you uh, I would uh, definitely recommend getting a rubber mat underneath this because it does slide around on any work surf surface now the reason for that is if you look at the bottom of the microwave it's got two feet and they're not rubber and then the metal frame so it slides around but if you have it pushed in into a corner and uh, it is it is okay to use like mine you know it's not moving around and um, uh, I, 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 I've had this and we use our microwave a lot in our house we use it absolutely all the time and you know it's been working perfect but uh, apart from them little niggles uh, yeah it's okay and once again I would like to say thank you very much to AO.com for giving me the opportunity to do this review and guys I've said this before and I'm going to say it again their delivery service is second to none I were given a day and a time and within the time slot they gave me an hour time slot and within the hour time slot it was here and it was here on the day so I'm more than pleased with AO.com I've already recommended them to my friends and family and uh, yeah, that's the review. So thanks for watching.